Hi, my name is Dan Magnolia with Magnolia Guitars. It's starting to get cold outside, and for the first time this year, I've had to turn on the heat. Which brings me a good opportunity to talk about relative humidity and temperature and maintaining your acoustic guitar at home. I should first point out that the safest place for your guitar during the winter months, or if you live in a particularly dry climate, is inside its case. Now I know this is a little bit of an inconvenience because you can't just walk by your instrument, off the, pick it up off the stand, and then be able to strum away. But the safest place is inside the case. Um, it also prevents other random accidents happening, like children or dogs or even yourself bumping into the guitar by accident. If you're going to leave your guitar on a stand, then one of the things that you should be mindful of is baseboard heating. Baseboard heating are the older style heaters that sort of run along the bottom, uh, along the side of the wall, and you see them often in older style homes. I know my mother's home still has them. And uh, these are direct heating coils that you can actually feel the heat coming off of them. And if you have your guitar on a stand, usually you leave it near the wall. And if that wall has baseboard heating, that's going to be a large amount of heat that's going to be pretty much being pushed right onto the back of the guitar, and that's not a situation that you want to have happening very often. Um, the second thing is radiant flooring. Radiant flooring is actually has a heating element underneath the entire floor, which is great for your feet, but not so great for your guitar. And uh, so you want to be able to not have your guitar being exposed to that heat coming up from underneath it, um, which is not a, an ideal situation either. The last thing that you should be wary of in the winter is uh, leaving your guitar on a display wall mount. And you've seen them uh, that you can sort of bolt them right into the studs of your wall and then hang your guitar or other sort of stringed instrument from the headstock from the wall. It looks great as a display, but it's not going to be so great during the winter time. And the reasons are because heat rises. And so if you uh, take into account some of these numbers, uh, if it is 18 degrees centigrade uh, at the floor level, uh, or 64 degrees Fahrenheit, it could be as much as 22 degrees centigrade at 5 feet, or 72 degrees Fahrenheit, and at 8 feet, it could be as high as 27 degrees centigrade, or 81 degrees Fahrenheit. And of course, with those temperatures, those dry temperatures being generated by a heat element in the winter, the relative humidity is also going to be uh, relatively low. Uh, relative humidity is uh, the, uh, described as the amount of water vapor um, or, just, or, or partial pressure of water vapor in air-water mixture. And you know, that's a lot of funny science words right there, but what it basically means is that it's, it's measuring the relative amount of humidity of, of water in the air and you can tell this really easily because in the winter if your skin starts to get really dry and you find yourself putting on a lot of moisturizer that means that your relative humidity is too low too low for you to be comfortable in so if you're uncomfortable then imagine how your guitars are faring because you have to remember even though uh, acoustic guitars are finished on the outside they remain completely unfinished on the inside. So they are directly affected by temperature and humidity. And so they're expanding and contracting because they're simply made of wood. So how do you measure relative humidity? Well, that's easy. You can get one of these uh, little hygrometers right here. And I'll zoom in so that you can see it a little bit better. There it is. And it basically just measures the relative humidity in a given area. And these are very inexpensive. Uh, they have more advanced ones. They have digital ones. Um, this one is actually designed to be placed into a case or a humidor. Actually, I think this one is originally designed for, for cigars, but it works and I install them sometimes in instrument cases. But I also just sort of leave them out as well. And so there's a, a dial and it says, at least in this one, it has a range where normal is going to be uh, measured. 
and normal safe range for your acoustic instruments should be around 42 to 55 percent. Um, I'm not sure what this reads right here. It reads actually 37. So right now it's too low to be in the safe zone. 55% uh, to 70% going in the other direction is still okay, but around 42 to 55% is ideal. But then again, I'm not really protecting anything right at the moment. In regards to uh, wall-mounted display stands, you also want to be careful of leaving your instrument in uh, the pathway of direct sunlight from a window. As you can see right behind me, I have a streak of sunlight from the window in my studio, but you don't see any instruments behind me either. Uh, not only is direct sunlight going to discolor uh, your instrument over time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, um, but what it's going to do is, during the course of the day, as the sun moves across the room, casting its light in different parts of the area, it's going to heat up and cool down your instrument. Um, and then it's going to cause it to expand and contract repetitively over the course of days, weeks, months, or years when you leave it in the same spot over and over again. Now, if you're doing any of these things already, or if you continue to do these things in the future, is it going to be an automatic tragedy? No, of course not. Um, your guitar is very strong. It's, it's built to withstand a large amount of pressure exerted on it by the strings, the tension of the strings, and it is likely to maintain itself for years, possibly decades, but you would be exposing it to stress that you don't have to, and if you don't have to, uh, then you'll be extending the life uh, of your instrument before you have to take it to a reputable repair person, which let's face it, you don't want to have to do that sooner than you have to. So how do you battle low humidity? Well, that's easy. First of all, go by this general rule of thumb. If you are comfortable in your home, then chances are your guitar is going to be comfortable. If your skin is particularly dry in the winter, you have to apply a lot of moisturizer, maybe you get a nosebleed or two, chances are the humidity in your home is too low for even you to be comfortable. So that means you have to think about your guitar. First thing you can do is get a room humidifier. Uh, these come in several different sizes, several different kinds, and what you want to do is you want to increase the humidity in um, your own room, in the room that your guitars uh, reside in. Uh, so you can get one that's basically a good fit for the size of your room. And uh, I have one for the studio, I have a couple for home, and it's always a good thing to have. But remember, I also said that the safest place for your guitar is inside its case. So there are several commercial products that you can buy that um, you can put into your guitar case that will moderate the humidity inside the case. The guitar case humidifiers come in um, several different shapes, several different styles and designs. Uh, some people like some better than others. There's this kind, and there's also this kind. And some people even like this style. But for me, I'm a kind of a DIY, do-it-yourself kind of person. So what I generally do is I just go to the store and I buy these uh, sort of uh, travel uh, soap dish cases. This one you can see has a little hinged you know, top. And what I do is I drill a series of holes on the top and the back and the sides. And then I just put a typical kitchen sponge a uh, damp kitchen sponge inside. Not so much that it is dripping wet, because I don't want it to leak into the case, uh, but just so that much that it holds a, a little bit of moisture that can slowly release itself out into the case itself. Because remember, you don't want the relative humidity to be too high either. You don't want it to exceed that uh, sort of 60 or 70 percent mark. You just want it in that 42 or 55 percent mark. Um, so. Either way, you want to be monitoring the relative humidity inside the case um, with any product that you use. And again, you can do that with the hygrometer that we showed you a little earlier. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to uh, make a case. I have a, a new case here. This one opens in two pieces. 
but it doesn't really matter um, what kind it is uh, because any style will work. You know, go to the dollar store, make sure you just pay like a little bit for it. So we have the, the case, the, the little soap dish here, the standard size travel soap dish. I have a package of uh, standard grocery store kitchen sponges that we're going to have over here. I have my handy dandy trusty drill right here, power drill, and uh, you need just about any bit that you have lying around. This bit just happens to be an eight inch bit, um, and I only chose that because it just happened to be close by. Uh, and I have a standard pair of office scissors, put it this way, and of course, to be safe, we have our safety glasses, because safety first. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through and make this, uh, make this do-it-yourself, uh, inexpensive guitar humidifier.